John, I hear from my friends that when making a charitable donation, it's better to give stocks than cash. Why is that so? I don't understand. Yes, your friends are right. Giving stock means that you can avoid capital gains on your stocks and therefore be more efficient about your gift. What do you mean? Let's say you have a stock worth XX, but you bought it for Y. You will ultimately need to pay tax on this gain if and when you sell the stock. An alternative approach is to gift the stock, thereby avoiding ever having to pay tax on the gain. But my portfolio isn't doing great this year. It's pretty much where I started from. That's okay. It's not about your whole portfolio's performance, but rather about a single position that has done well. Even if just one position is ahead, you can gift that one stock and avoid that capital gains on that position. But I like that stock. It's done so well for me. I can't imagine giving it away is a good idea. Don't worry. You can gift the shares you currently have which have a low basis. That is a large gain. And go out and buy new shares of the same stock on the open market, and thereby resetting your cost basis. In other words, you can maintain your same economic position of holding 100 shares of X, but getting a higher basis so that when you eventually sell the shares, you'll have a basis much higher than you presently do. Got it. So I'll gift my shares of Southwest Airlines, which have a basis of $11. Go out and buy shares of Southwest Airlines, which will create a new basis of $41. I avoid the tax on the difference between $11 and $41 forever. Brilliant. With tax rates so high, this is a significant savings. What does this transaction cost? Typically, this transaction will be very inexpensive, but check with your brokerage firm. The transfer of the low basis shares will usually be free, and the purchase of new replacement shares with a higher basis is often as low as $9 per trade. So what do I actually save? If you have 100 shares of Southwest Airlines stock bought for $11 a share in 2010, and it's now worth $41 per share, you can sell your 100 shares for $41 each for total proceeds of $4,100 and pay tax of about $1,080, netting $3,020 in cash. Your $4,100 worth of stock became a $3,020 cash gift to charity. Here's the math summary. $41 market price, $11 basis, $30 gain, 36% tax, 20% Fed plus 13% CA, plus 3.8% Medicare, tax equals $10.80. $30.20 per share net after tax available for gifting. Since you had 100 shares, that is $3,020. That is $3,020 versus $4,100 if you had gifted the shares themselves. Wow, so by simply gifting the shares rather than giving cash, I'm able to give $1,080 more to the organization. Sarah, remember these critical points. One, transfer the stock in kind rather than selling and transferring the cash. This is an easy mistake to make and should be avoided. Two, in your written request to your custodian, be sure to ask them to move the stocks with the lowest cost basis. This ensures maximum benefit. Thank you for explaining this to me. Now I understand what my friends have been telling me all along. Anything else I should know? Yes, I'm not your CPA. I have explained in general the economic rationale for gifting stocks rather than cash. However, benefits differ based on each person's personal tax position. Please be sure to consult your tax advisor for specific advice regarding your own situation.